Today I'm printing a Viking chess piece. This piece is already pre-supported and hollowed out. I have just sent the file from the PC with Anycubix software to the printer. I'm using a Mono 4 Ultra. The build plate is being lowered into the vat. I won't leave the lid off too long because it's daylight outside and I don't want my resin starting to cure. So we'll just watch it here for a second or two and then we'll come back a bit later to see how it's going. Right, I'm going to put the lid back on and we'll come back later and see how it's printing. Open up the Anycubic software Select the file on my PC. In this case, it's a chest piece, a Viking King. It's asking me to repair, so I just click yes. Now I need to rotate the model so it fits on the build plate tidy without any red segments showing. As you can see, that is absolutely fine. Just put it in the center. Once I am happy with everything, the position, I just click slice. These are my settings before I do. Then click on remote print to send it to the printer. Click start printing and it sends it over the Wi-Fi to your printer. file is now being loaded into the printer's memory, ready to start the printing process. We'll have a quick check of the print, I'm just going to pause it quickly. I'll see you now. I don't know if you can hear that, but you can hear it peeling off the um, sheet which is a good sign also i just had a quick look underneath and i can see that it is stuck to the plate okay so fingers crossed but yeah you can hear that pull it on the sheet which is a good sign like i said so nothing to worry about if you hear that when you're printing right we'll have a quick check it's about 80 percent done as you can see it's printing really well with this little Mono 4 Ultra from Anycubic. So we'll just let it carry on now, it has stuck to the build plate really well. Let it carry on now until it finishes and then we'll have another look and then we'll pop it in the wash and cure station, give it a good wash in IPA alcohol and then we'll um, give it a blast with some UV light to cure it but yeah happy so far everything seems fine I can't see any supports broken with the pole force so yeah we'll come back shortly when it's finished and have a good look the print is just finished as you can see everything is stuck to the build plate as it should have what I'm going to do now is just hang it on a drip tray, let it drip for about half an hour and then we'll come back, scrape it off and we'll see what the quality is like. Raise the sails on the icy tide Steel in hand where the gods reside Oh inside sees the blood stained ground Foul heart calls where the brave are bound 
We'll just let that drip like that now. We'll just let that drip like that now with the drip adapter. As you can see the resin is dripping back into the vat. Actually saves a bit of money in the long term. But yeah, we'll let it drip now for about half an hour or so and then we'll come back a bit later. It's been dripping now for about 30 minutes. So we'll take it off the plate. As you can see it comes off the plate absolutely no problems with these settings. We will now pop it into the wash and cure station. And we'll give it 10 minutes now to clean in IPA. Pop it now in the cure station, um, give it some UV light for about 10 minutes. In all honesty, I prefer to do this by just leaving them on a windowsill in direct sunlight. I find they dry a lot better. Put the lid on because it won't work without it. And then just press start. I have reviewed this Elegoo wash and cure station on my channel. I leave a link in the top right if you'd like to have a look. But it's very good for what it is. And if you're using IPA, I must. And here we have the finished Viking chess piece print done on the Anycubic Mono 4 Ultra. The detail is absolutely superb. It's printed really well with the settings I've used. This is a mixture between JO Standard Resin and ABS Resin. And the detail is incredible in all honesty. Anyway, if you would like to see more videos with this printer being used, let me know in the comments. Please leave a like. Please leave a comment, please subscribe and hopefully I will catch you on the next video.